welcome to another episode of Non-Scripted Ramblings. I'm a Kendall Richardson. Thank you so much again for joining me as I continue my journey through history. Um, yes, very excited to keep celebrating History 25 this month, that is June 2020, because there's so many other bad things happening in the world. I wanted to bring some joy and recognition to one of the greatest albums ever produced by my favorite artist of all time, Michael Jackson. Um, and this is, a, this is a, a milestone that deserves commending and commemorating. So here we are with track six today. I'm going to be discussing my thoughts on the song DS. Um, well, <laughs> what a song. What a song is this, um, yeah. It's great. It's it's great. It's awesome. Um, I would like to hear people's thoughts on this apart from my own. So please comment below if you're an MJ fan watching this because I have a question. Do you think it was a good idea for Michael Jackson to write and record a song, write, record and release a song that was um, subtly but also not so subtly attacking uh, the Santa Barbara District Attorney Tom Snedden um, was it a good idea on his part? Do you think it was it was a bit petty for Michael to do it? Do you think it was totally appropriate because Snedden's an asshole, like how I feel, <laughs> how most of us feel? Um, yeah, yeah. Just because you know, sometimes it's always good to be the bigger person, but I mean, I feel like in this case. The fact that Michael decided to, to you know, release this song, record, write, record, release this song is, is uh, you know, it's it's important and, again, it's him expressing his anger and his frustration and uh, for the first time ever, it's aimed at one person and solely one person. Um, but you will notice that I said, for those who don't know, that I did say the name Tom Snedden, right? The song is called D S. Um, not T.S. as it, you know, probably should have been called, but um, that's neither here nor there. Uh, D.S. stands for Dom Sheldon, which is actually the lyrics in the song. Um, and yeah, so, <laughs> I mean, I didn't know at the time who, I, I thought, you know, when I was a kid, I was reading the, the liner notes of the History album because, you know, this is one of the few songs, and this is such an interesting thing, I think, about the History uh, album booklet is the select song Michael chose to write down like to include the lyrics for so Earth Songs one DS is another one uh, and then Childhood I think is the third and final one if I'm not mistaken um, you know so DS is an interesting choice to include the lyrics on I think I think it's a good choice but yeah very interesting choice uh, for my money I feel like maybe including Scream or They Don't Care About Us would have been more appropriate but I don't know that's ne again neither here nor there doesn't really matter um, but yeah Dom Sheldon is the the target in this song uh, <laughs> aka Tom Snedden and yeah when I was a kid I thought Dom Sheldon was a real person or or like a maybe a fictional person that, that Michael was directing his ire at like he was just pissed off at this guy or or this guy or maybe he was just generalizing that this guy is just a bad bad person has done some really bad things is very shady, very, uh, yeah, just a very, not a good dude, not a good dude. Uh, yeah, so I did, I didn't understand, you know, my seven-year-old self had no idea. I don't even think I knew about what happened in 93 at that point in my life. That was probably a lot later that I discovered that, but yeah. But regardless, this song is about Tom Snedden, uh, who was the district attorney that uh, a lot of fans and a lot of people believe really personally went after Michael Jackson as a vendetta in 93 because then again he was the um, prosecuting DA uh, in 2005 when um, at least I think he was uh, I've kind of blocked out a bunch of that from my my mind because it's not not a very good time but um, yeah he went out after Michael Jackson like more than any of the other law enforcement or legal authorities at the time. Like Snedden was gunning for him really badly. Um, and 
Yeah, and so it's it's very understandable that Michael would want to express his hatred for this man in a song with some really controversial lyrics about how he's like, you know, aligned himself with the KKK. Um, you know, he's, he's he'll do anything to get your vote to remain DA. You know, all of this, all of these shady and dodgy and awful, and morally bad decisions that this this Dom Sheldon has made, you know, Michael Jackson was really going for him. Just as Snedden went for him, MJ came back just as hard in this song. Um, so it's very powerful. It's the most guitar-heavy song on the History album. Uh, probably the most guitar-heavy song, or well, one of the most guitar-heavy songs Michael ever, you know, produced, but then there was quite a few of those, so... Uh, yeah, but the cool thing about the guitar in this, it was, it was, uh, Slash from Guns N' Roses, um, another big collaborator that had previously worked with MJ on the Dangerous album, um, with, I don't think Black or White, I'm pretty sure that's not a thing, I think every, he was credited as, bla as, as working on Black or White, but then Slash was like, nah, that wasn't me, so I think he was just on Given to Me on Dangerous, which is one of my favourite songs ever, just quietly. Um, but yeah, Slash was on this, and so he only helps to really add to the the gravitas of the of the you know the really hardcore you know the rockness, the rock cred to this to this uh, single to this this song, I should say. Um, and then another really cool thing I love about the music in this is that there's a small part of this song that actually samples an awesome awesome song that I love um, called "Owner of a Lonely Heart" by the group Yes. Um, and it's, yeah, it's really great that I kind of actually went on to really like that song because, um, so, little, little backstory, um, my, br <laughs> my brother used to play Grand Theft Auto quite a bit, um, when we were growing up, and this was in, um, it wasn't San, I don't know if it, I can't remember if it was San Andreas or it was Liberty City, one of them, I can't remember which game it was, but, uh, there's one of one of the uh, Grand Theft Auto games has a killer soundtrack and one of the songs featured on that soundtrack was Lo uh, Owner of a Lonely Heart and so because when you're driving around in, in a you know most likely stolen vehicle uh, <laughs> there's like lots of radio stations you can listen to and I think yeah I think even one of the games ha featured um, a couple of Michael Jackson songs on one I can't remember I think maybe one of them was Billie Jean if I'm not mistaken. I can't, I can't remember now, so add in the comments below if I'm forgetting. Um, but yes, Owner of a Lonely Heart was one of the songs on the radio you could listen to, and I just remember every time that would come on, I'd like beg my brother not to skip it. I'm like, oh please, let me listen. <laughs> this was before the days of Spotify and, uh, and iTunes, so yeah, um, couldn't really access the song, and YouTube even, yeah, this is, this is going back to like the uh, early to mid 2000s here with this so but yeah I ended up becoming a fan of that song and then I think I remember reading one day through the history booklet going oh it's, that song's in what a coincidence <laughs> um, because like there's a part in the in the uh, owner of a lonely heart that really kind of sounds MJ-esque to me so that I'm not surprised that he was like yeah I like that I'm gonna use that um, in in DS uh, very very briefly it's 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 almost un unrecognizable but it's yeah it's still really really cool so there's that little bit of information for you um yeah I don't even know what else to say about DS I've actually spoken a lot more than I thought I would about it um, because there's not really too much um, information out there I think about it to be honest I mean unless I haven't dug deep enough on the interwebs but Regardless, it's a song that I've always really liked as well and just is good another good one to turn up real loud because you can really You know chant alongside with Michael as he sings um, Dom Sheldon is a cold man uh, Or you know some also argue that I think I think that he's actually saying Tom Sned in, in, in when he's singing But he wrote down Dom Sheldon as the lyrics to maybe misdirect people. I don't know um, but it, it was used during the 2005 trial. I'm pretty sure a lot of fans that were there in Santa Maria outside the courthouse would chant that at Tom, Tom Snedden as he walked in. I'm fairly certain from memory because um, he was an awful, awful person. 
who had no right to do what he did to MJ. So yeah, there is a, I just, I'm not gonna go, I'm really not gonna go too much into that, but yeah, he's a really, really mean and vindictive person he was. So um, yeah, this is a great song. It is a really powerful, strong song, continuing the theme of injustice on history and um, yeah. Whew, the theme continues next week as next week again autopilot next time as i dive into my thoughts on another uh another really uh powerful song that follows that theme of injustice and of greed and that is of course track seven of the history album uh money another really really great song so i'm looking forward to getting stuck into that one so thank you so much guys for watching and listening and I hope you have some similar thoughts to myself on on DS and and if you don't comment below feel free to at me on anything I'm not on Twitter so you probably can't even really do that so <laughs> but yes just yeah I don't know tell me what you think I'd love to know your thoughts on this song um, it's another one that's not hugely discussed I think in the fandom but you know I'm not I'm not hugely hugely involved in the fandom um anyway as it is but um you know i have a lot of friends that are mj fans that, are, that i that i know and I'm, I'm close with so yeah but regardless not important it's fine um it's a good song so go listen to it if you haven't and yeah leave your thoughts in the comments below please um thank you thank you thank you so much again for watching uh, see you next time when I talk about money and I've been a Kendall Richardson and you've just experienced non-scripted ramblings.